what's really crazy is I feel like our freaking grandparents watch our stuff. So like, yeah. So like, me and Rachel oh. literally hooked up while Colin was railing me. <sighs> hey guys. Hey. Sorry for not posting for the last two weeks. I actually had a vocal injury and I was on vocal rest for 10 days. I was literally unable to film and talk to a camera, which is something we took for granted. So we're actually really happy to be filming this video today because that was a really unintentional yet another break. So yeah, we're back. As you guys know, the season finale of our Snapchat show just aired and we weren't gonna make a video about our Snapchat show until recently there's been so many tweets and confusion because this was filmed such a long time ago. So we figured what better way than to react to this show with you guys in front of you guys and kind of go over some of the confusion what we're gonna do today since all the episodes are now out on snapchat you can actually binge watch them after done watching this video like they're all uploaded we're going to watch them today for this video and go through each thing and reflect on where we were where we are now so. this is like an after the final rose type after thing. the <laughs> final rose where all the tea is Build. Not only will our Snapchat series be entertaining you guys this summer when you're bored, but so will our new favorite app called Pocket Styler, and they are actually sponsoring this video, which is so cool because it's all we've been playing so we far. We love this app, guys. I personally loved makeover games growing up, so to see an app like this that for adults our age would love yeah. to play is just so awesome. And there actually is a part of the game called Who Wore It Better, which is similar to the series we do on our channel, where we literally compete with styling out but instead of competing with like me and Gabby like we're competing with other players on the game pocket styler is a player versus player fashion game where you get to dress up your character and go to events and compete wearing your most fashionable looks created by you the app gives you everything you need possible to create your own authentic look to differentiate yourself from literally every other player other players on the app get to vote who wore it better just like we were saying like our series we do on this channel and that can help you win influence and cash which is what you want from playing the game yeah you get like influence points or cash become an influencer and and get your coin. <laughs> if you love fashion like us, you will love this game. We are addicted. I know. This is the game, the summer game of 2021. <laughs> the game is free and it's available for all iOS and Android platforms. So I just took another pregnancy test and it was negative. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> How many tests have you taken so far? Like two, three? And that was the second one this month. The last couple of them have been negative. It's really stressful because I want to be a mom. Colin and I have been dating for going on six years. I love him so much. He's my actual best friend. Unfortunately, last month I realized I had a chemical pregnancy and it was super upsetting because it didn't work out. When we were filming this show, I was starting my downward spiral with my mental health and Nikki can vouch for this. Like I've always been the one that's always, you know, mentally had it a lot easier than Nikki. Nikki's always struggled growing up mentally. And um, I think my mental health was catching up with me in the beginning of production. How do you realistically think that would go? What? Like if you genuinely got pregnant, like what do you see your future going like? Do you think you're ready? Like seriously ready? I'm not trying, I feel like I always have to prove myself with you. You don't have You like talk down to me. I'm, I feel like I take on this mom role and you know what? You don't have to. I had no idea you even thought you were pregnant or had a chemical pregnancy. I'm shook right now. Because of this, like I knew how you would react. Right now, no, I don't want to be trying for that. I mean, at the time, Colin and I thought that's truly what we wanted and you know, sometimes things happen and I just want to make sure that my, my babies are brought into a very, very like healthy environment so that they can have you know, the best life ever, life changes. And I feel like maybe give it a few more years and I think Colin and I will definitely be amazing parents. I actually think that's so mature of you to say. The reason why I wasn't so rainbows and butterflies and excited for my sister, which a lot of people were saying I should have been, is because there's more to the story that we, we didn't add in the show. And that's that I knew my sister wasn't okay and we weren't okay. I am obviously supportive of Gabby. I actually kind of want to vicariously live through her because I don't see myself having a kid anytime soon. So like I want to be Aunt Nikki and I think we all see that happening. I guess you, the answer's there. Uh, whatever happens, happens. But uh, you know, I think in order to have a healthy life for my future family, I must have a healthy life myself. Okay, so huh, as you can see, I look different now. A lot of people who um, watch our Snapchat show probably haven't seen me since I looked like that. 
I thought people have been keeping up with our stuff until I started seeing a lot of tweets being like, what happened to her face? Oh my God. What so they happened? thought that was present you. Yeah, everyone thinks that was present me. So, hi. I have really bad lungs and in particular this past winter um, I was going through a duct problem in my house and I had like three week bronchitis pneumonia like a respiratory infection and when you when you have all these projects we were filming like two reality shows Nikki and Gabby blogging perfume I did not have time to be sick and do my nebulizer so if when you don't have time to take care of yourself what the doctors will give you is prednisone steroid it's a steroid for respiratory infections and it gives you what you call a moon face it makes your face really 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 round um, and most celebrities would go in hiding or just disappear from the internet when they're on these steroids but I couldn't do that I had obligations and you know beauty standards are pretty crappy right now and I just want to put it out there how you treat yourself in here eventually catches up with you and I just wasn't putting myself first I could tell Alex but something in me was like I can't tell Nikki you know that. why because we're financially reliant on each other and that's up Think about that, the weight, the pressure that carries. I literally can be so fine without you financially one day. I'm not always gonna need the Nikki and Gabby though. channel. I think at the time, maybe I was doing the channel because it was supporting my music, but I also feel like the passion was gone because we, we didn't have a relationship outside of the channel. So it just felt like a nine to five job that I hated. After Alone in My Car, once I saw that my followers not only just supported the music, but actually like became fans of my music, it made me get a little manic. It made it made me extra heightened and like, I can do this even more. And I was like, a part of me got a little a little annoyed at myself watching the Snap Show, because I'm just like, my music career, my music career, my music career. Like, it seemed like that was the only thing I was bringing up. But I think that our break was the best thing we could have ever taken. And if we ever need another break again in the future, I am not shy to take that break. And I think they will understand yeah. that in order to get passion back, you have to enjoy things. You have to enjoy it. Now we make videos because we want to. Not because of what does well. We're not like forced to make these videos. We want to make these videos. Yeah. So that's the biggest change between now and then. Whoever has the tambourine talks. I'm so glad I have this tambourine because you don't get to cut me off now. Hello. I am not happy with the Nikki and Gabby channel. I think we need to break. <laughs> I agree. Really? Like you, I wanna do other things. So originally in October when we discussed taking a break, the break was not going to be five months. It was probably gonna be two weeks, which looking back, like we needed way more than two oh weeks gosh. off. It was gonna be for like two weeks and like I was gonna travel to LA and Gabby was just gonna like vlog or like go on a vacation. I don't know, it, like we needed, we needed such a long break. I knew when I was really young about my bisexuality and that, that, that was like my deepest, darkest secret. Coming out to Nate and seeing how accepting he was, made me really comfortable to just say it loud and proud to everybody. Nate is a very private, reserved, introverted person, and this photo shoot could be pushing it a little too far. Are you comfortable? Because your hand, I noticed because your hands are sweaty and your face is flushed. My hands are always flushed. sweaty. I'm just not used to being in front of the camera. You sure? Yeah. Now that I know Nate's okay with this, I'm just so excited to see where we go next. I think we need to start doing family vacations, maybe more photos for the living room. Yes. Okay, that's good. And also, we gotta get Rachel to move in. <laughs> Can I see? Oh my god! <laughs> Was I uncomfortable? Honestly, no, I wasn't, because I'm so used to being on sets with Nikki, filming or shooting photos or whatever. I think that's just my face. I think I, <laughs> I, think I honestly might just be a little like uncomfortable looking Can I sometimes. answer what I think it is? I think in general, when Nate's in front of the camera, he gets that flushed look. He gets red. Last Gabaween, I got so drunk. I kept asking Colin, can we have a threesome? Can we have a threesome? So me like, and Rachel so... literally hooked up while Colin was railing me. Why are you say railing? You, know, <laughs> you were dressed, he was dressed as Dumbledore. <laughs> I was dressed as Marie Antoinette. And Rachel was a Powerpuff girl. <laughs> Rachel is our hot, sexually fluid friend who has a close relationship with each of us DiMartino sisters. Uh, 
Uh, I hope not, but you know, fun fact, they don't watch our vlogs, they don't watch Nikki and Gabby, they don't watch our music videos, so I doubt. <laughs> I feel like they don't want to know. I think they like, yeah. they like ignorance is bliss. Like we post some provocative stuff on Instagram and not that they don't support us because they do, trust me. I just think they don't want to know all the crazy shit we do. You know what's really crazy is I feel like our freaking grandparents watch our stuff. So like, yeah. <sighs> You look so hot. You're my clingy girlfriend. I am. I'm clingy. I get emotionally invested with women. Yeah. Rachel's very comfortable with her sexuality, which allows me to have a really cool relationship with her and same with Nate. <laughs> Nate really gives me the physical and Rachel really gives me the emotional. So I'm a thriving, happy bitch. <laughs> I think I'm my happiest when I have different people for different things in my life instead of relying on one person to make up my entire pie. And Rachel, during that time when the show was filmed, she was meeting all my emotional needs to the point where I almost feel like I wasn't coming to Nate for things. Nor I just feel like whenever I have really close friendships, I tend to not need that so much from my partner. But then the second that's lacking, Nate is emotionally available and he's there for me. But I do think sometimes it's a really good break on a relationship when you have other people you can go to so you're not just like smothering a person. Like, I, I hope that made sense. Every time you go to LA or something, isn't your Nikki and Gabby videos, your views go down. My end goal isn't to just like I know, but chase views and know, over that shit. Well, it would be a waste at this point to let that channel just die. But sometimes that's life. You go, you live life in different phases. It's time for a new project. Like, that but that channel is, is nowhere close to dying, yeah. guys. Like he'd be without a job. I'd be losing half of my job just so you could run around doing music videos. I, you don't seem to give a shit at all if this comes to an end. If you want to quit the channel, I will gladly take it over with Nate and Colin and we'll turn that into me and Colin's family channel. Bye. I'm not hurt that Gabby said that because I empathize with her emotions at the time. I think she felt very scared. He'd be without a job, I'd be losing half of my job. And when you're scared or you're fearful or, or you're coming from a place of fear, you don't say things you mean. And you took it as I was ghosting it. And we ended up ghosting it. <laughs> yeah, so I think that was like miscommunication. Losing my voice makes me realize how much I prioritize music. Maybe that means I can't film some brand deals or I can't film some videos because I can't lose my passion. Music is my life. It should take priority over everything else. Music is still my number one priority. I definitely feel like everyone has that thing they'll do for 10 years and then change their career and then do it for 10 years and then change your career. You grow and there's a new chapter and I definitely think music is my new slash next chapter. I need this perfume launch to go well because this is my chance to prove to Nikki and our team and our family that I don't need the Nikki and Gabby channel to survive. My current goal and priority is to find peace and to find happiness, you know, like I feel like I've gone through a lot mentally this past year and I want to be the most like stable, content person before uh, Colin and I start our family. I have found a new burning passion for my vlog channel. When we were filming this reality show, I was only filming on my little vlog camera. You know, when I was going through this change in my channel, I was just like, you know what, no, I want Nate to film my videos. I want to get an editor. I And you know, that has made such a difference in my stress. And I actually love what I do now, love the videos I'm putting out. So if you guys are interested in moving vlogs, wedding content, and anything, all things girly and shopping, make sure to check out my vlog channel. <laughs> so Nate recently agreed with me to go to LA to chase my music career if it came down to it, which gives me such peace of mind. I think down the road, I'm gonna have to probably be in LA. Yeah, well then we can have that conversation. Really? Time. Yeah. So to answer your question, I plan on using Pennsylvania as home base and staying at like long-term stays in Airbnbs both in New York City and LA because I am doing a lot actually in New York City and it's just nice to come home after I hustle, hustle, hustle. I think back in the day you had to live in LA but now we have social media. I think quarantine proof that your like, location like literally doesn't matter. You literally have your phone. I think my favorite thing about the series is it acts as a diary for both me and Gabby to remember where we don't ever want to be again. Sometimes when you argue with people, 
in the moment you're really believing you're the right one and then it, I think what's been really helpful for us is being able to watch our toxic traits and bad habits from a third perspective like it's triggering yeah it brings up old stuff but you see yeah. what you can change you know you, you see what you can change physically and emotionally oh. stop <laughs> you're giving in to the haters what is coming next on the nikki and gabby channel well we're not done here uh you can binge watch all the snapchat episodes but we are starting to shift our content on our channel from challenges to our lives. So um, the next few videos on this channel is going to be me and Gabby's birthday trip documented. So it's in a reality show format. And yeah, that's all we're gonna say. We wanna leave you guys wondering what it is so that way you guys watch it. <laughs> it is something. Thank you so much for watching. We know this video was a long video, but it also was requested to us and I thought this was the best way to answer everything because it probably was confusing yeah. seeing like how different things were just in under a year, like that's crazy. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so yet and make sure to tweet Snapchat or us if you wanna see a season two. Yeah, be sure to tweet Snapchat if you guys want a season two and be sure to subscribe to the show and binge watch them so that way we do get a season two. I hope we get a season two because we're in a completely different we're chapter. We're so different now. We're in a different chapter. And we hope we answered everything you guys were wondering after the season finale. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. Treat yourself in here eventually catches up with you and I just wasn't putting myself first. Had I been taking care Oh, I thought you were about to say, no. if you're calling Gabby ugly from the reality show, you're ugly on the inside. So I counted on the outside too.